this is a proof that you can do much more than uh, doing the cloth in cloth ready. Let's make a bag in this tutorial. And for that one, please follow along to see the uh, amazing results. Uh, let's just grab the rectangle and draw a rectangle one. Do whatever shape you want to do. But right now, I'm going to go with the rectangle. And then go to the edit pattern, grab the smooth curve. Bring it around here. I also want to go to the edit pattern, add points, and do add one point in between. And for that one, again, edit pattern, bring it a little bit down. Again, go for the smooth curve. Um, now. And now I'm going to go and cut it in half for accurate results and then right click and cut. I want to put this in and then right click on this one, right click and unfold. Now click on it, right click and symmetric pattern. Don't simulate it just right now. We want to set this exactly in front of each other, aligned, and bring it a little bit up from the ground. I think this is super big. Let's make it scale it down and make it shorter, smaller. Okay, don't simulate it, not just right now. And again, grab it, another rectangle. And you want to go to the edit pattern at point um, one here and one here and edit pattern small here. Okay, and now oh they don't want to line. Let's just show the drawing line. Okay, from this part. Let's go grab the free swing. And this one like this. Okay. Now we're going to select these and these and freeze them. Let's just simulate it. Okay, when you simulate it, you can see it here. This one, let's bring one of the bits over. And now it's time to check how big or how small they are. This seems a little bit big, about small. Let's see how much is it. Still, it needs for the same thing for the. Other part. One here. We can simulate it. Okay. And now we need to bring this a little bit inside. Simulate it again. And now you want to select them all and unfreeze them. And boom, that's what you get. Then you don't have a better fabric. So, Control Z, let's select these two, add another fabric, assign it to this, to this, and then we call this trim fabric on the property editor preset to trim, trim full grain leather. And I can select these two particle distance should be down for better results to 10. And now right click and cut it. 
if you see now it has its own shape and it doesn't fall off that's when you have an experience to do so that different fabrics has different um, behavior okay now what I'm gonna do how what do you think if I say I want to keep this a little bit in to give it a better shape it's better right just select all of it right click and offset as an internal line that's good and now let's go to have a very small let's have a very small rectangle and then free swing or is it free swing and then grab one part what's happening today free swing grab this and just do it like this so as you can see this is 68 and this is 92 we don't like that let's make this 68 let's check again if it's there it's not there if you want to make it um, better and accurate just click on it and uh, choose change length and the 92 we want okay on both sides like this here now it's better and also free swing over here to also this part it's better my choice always is to select the rest um, piece in freeze and the one that's going to simulate the activate it's better to help the um, cloud ready to calculate especially when you're doing a very very um, heavy particles now it's good if you make this big and then select this select this opposite as an intern online you want to bring it a little bit down in the middle okay and then cut it when you cut it, you want to add the zipper. So for not shrinking in the edge, I prefer to choose this one and set this also. As you see, this keeps it um, wider. Yes, now it lets you to do so. And if in any cases, some part of your patterns are black that has a very um, quick fix just click on it right click and flip normal that's what you want and then this one is happening this do you know why because you have a symmetric pattern that you, uh, we need to click on it and uh, remove linked editing now flip normal now both sides are white Okay, what do you think if I say I want to scale it a little bit down and try it again? Good. And now let's go grab a long strange free swing. Choose this one. And now for better results, I want to grab the internal line and draw it right here okay. and then grab this one sew it here grab this one sew it here for simulation Let's go to the pin box, select this part, and then simulate it because I need it to be. Like this. Okay, now 
it's time to add some details to it so it's very very easy for that I'm gonna come to the button area and here default button let's choose you can have any button that you want and use it as a trim as an object let's go and choose I guess this one probably but after that if you don't like it you can change it I'm gonna add one here oh my goodness this is very very small so let's change this to something else How about this one yes this is more like her and this one that is six uh, I think we need to change the shape the thickness of our color so let me see Forty, yeah, and you can also change it the way it should be. And what we want to notice, pay attention, is over here, property editor. You need to turn off the collision because if you turn on the collision, it keeps going through your bag and it doesn't let go. Um, again, another thing we want to have a little one, and uh, yes, that's it. Okay, now we want to copy this and number two because we want to make this like five it, and now we want to put it just right here, we want it smaller. it good I guess yes and also I think we have to think that by 30 this is good now we need to copy this and number three we want this four this is how it turns out but be careful that everything that you choose, you have to take care of the collision, also this one, this one, and all of it. And now it would be good if we go to the internal line and start from here. Just draw some shapes. The selected copy and mirror piece, and from now we want to also go add some lines here. And copy mirror paste. I select all the internal lines and under property editor you can see the whole rendering is on elastic is on and set ratio to 80 and also um, you can change the fold angle whatever you want 180 it would be nice also 230 is also nice that's completely up to you and then you can set it to um, simulation and let's see what's going on here i think that's it yes look at the shape that's what i wanted control on the cable to save the project and select on the strange i want to change the thickness the thing says i think it should be set to probably 20 uh, do we see any we cannot see any thickness I think that's what oh yeah this is not set to thick texture surface that's what we wanted I guess it's much about 10 and it's much better and now unfreeze 
I guess now it's time to give it a very very nice texture let's just go make a texture for it um, yeah all of them set to trim let's choose the trim and choose a color how about the pink I think all of you thought about the pink and then apply clothes I want to give it a maybe leather maybe metal oh I think this is amazing and let's go to the window view do you think we can have a good render of this here maybe not metal in leather oh yes much better and this is it wow it's just amazing like amazing this was my first time trying this and oh my goodness I set it to uh, grounder. I don't want to mess around with it. How about set the thickness to? Um, I think not that's good. Let's just um, maybe we can give it two color. Is it possible to give it two or three color, or maybe a little bit whitish in it? And oh my goodness look at it look at this wow okay guys this is it when you play i hope you enjoyed life, this video like me before. and don't forget to subscribe and share and like this video Your as product. this is very look, uh, important for me see you in the next one